but she gonna be Call me Ricky T Off the leash, off the lick of dough I can have the free, keep it pee Never leave the juice, but you need it Pisces My little fishies girl come in the den Let's talk about your life How has things been Yes, girl, Benz with an S. Um, oh, girl, <laughs> luxury. I don't know. Some of y'all might drive a Benz. Girl, might have recently been in a Benz. Okay. Hello, girl. We're here to talk about your life, okay? Like I said, how have you been? I know Saturn and Neptune have been kicking your ass, being in retrograde for the past few months, honey. But I've been here with you trying to, you know, navigate and maneuver alongside you. So let's talk about the month of October. Any placement of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements of anybody who would like to be nosy because trust me, they are in here. Now, like I said, you guys, <laughs> um, you might, like I said, have... Um, been going through a lot because Saturn and Neptune have been retrograde and you guys are signed for the past few months. So just feel like you've been constantly tested, feel like you've been constantly changing, going through a lot of different shifts in your life um, in the past few months, girl. And we're here for it, okay? Because the planets are going to start going direct uh, further uh, later on into this year, into the winter season, later on into the fall season, fall and winter season. Um, so, girl, what... What? Considering graduation, girl, you are in the final days of your semester. Consider it to be like that, okay? Now, the college girlies, okay, and dudes, they still in college, okay, girl? They semester ain't up yet. That, that ain't gonna happen until, like, December, okay? So, but spiritually, we're on the last few weeks of class, girl, spiritual class, okay? So, um, what are we doing, babes? <laughs> What are we doing? So, what we're going to do... Oh, by the way, my pricing and contact information to book a reading with me is in the description box down below. Um, I am... Uh now, I need to start marketing this more because it's a new thing and I can't just expect for niggas just to know, you know. Um, so, I am currently doing birth chart readings. Um, it's a, a definite, indefinite. And then just cut all this out, girl. Just, just make it a rough draft or something, okay? Thank you. Um, so... I am now offering birth chart readings. Um, you know, girl, if you want to get a little bit more in-depth about your blueprint, who you is, basically have me read you your spiritual diary. Girl, book with me. Okay, girl. I mean, we're going to get into some things. All right? All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's going to keep me in the rotation. Okay, just a little bit. So I'm going to pull three zodiac signs to see what placements you guys might have, who could be around you during this time, who could be being nosy. I'm also hearing who you could be receiving warnings about. Because you know, that's a, I, like, I like to do that for you. Okay? Give you a heads up. And then we're going to pull one monthly Oracle message card to see what your overall energy is going to be for the month of October. Okay? So you guys, what zodiac signs can resonate with this Pisces reading for the month of October in the year 2023. All right. Leo, Aries, Libra, and we got a Taurus in the bushes, in your bushes, by the way. Um, so I'm seeing some heavy moon energy. Uh Leo, Aries, and Libra moon. And Aries, Libra, and right. Aries, I'm about to cut the camera off, Ted. I, I really am. Okay, I just not, I'm not having a good day, apparently. Anyway, um, Aries rising, Libra rising, Leo, Aries, and Libra moon. You guys can have these placements. These are their signs to be around you during this time. There could be some messages for you in these monthly readings. Boy, these niggas could be being nosy. Okay. Um, what I can tell you though is there is a Taurus lurking somewhere around you, girl. Maybe you friendly with them, maybe you in contact with them, maybe you ain't. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, too many, too many, too many, too many. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Girl, expect 
the blessing, Pisces, okay, with the community chess card. What, what happens in Monopoly whenever you land on this girl? You usually get something good, okay? So some of you guys expect for some unexpected um, good luck to come your way in the month of October. Hold the fuck up. Excuse me. And then you got, they're draining your energy showing up on the bottom of the deck. Who the hell is this? So let's talk about who it could be. Some of you guys need to be aware um, that you just need to be aware of who is around you. Um, like who can, I'm hearing who can benefit off of you um, more and not really pour anything back into you. You know, like I don't really feel like there's an issue with um, being that friend or having individuals around you to where it's like, girl, you got the hookup in regards to certain things, okay? There's um, what provisions that come with fucking with you, Pisces, okay? But what you need to be careful about is people only being around you for that or people, you know, kind of targeting that, you know, within you, all right? What I'm seeing is you need to be careful about um, being taken for granted, Okay? People using and abusing you. Because you know, Pisces, you a sweetheart. You are, all right? You are, no matter what placement. Okay? Piscean placement tends to be very nice individuals, but they tend to get walked over because they have an issue asserting themselves, right? Because they don't want to come off as the bad guy. They don't want to come off as the villain, even though they're being taken advantage of, even though they're being treated wrong. Give you a quick shuffle that way. I know you ain't got no residue. Spirit guys, excuse me. Booty up, so I'm not gonna read it. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? Page of Swords with the Knight of Swords. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is watch what you're doing. Okay, you're doing 65 and a 35. It's a little extreme, it's a little dramatic, all right. Watch where you're going, okay? Watch the speed limit, babe. You know them, you know them motherfuckers be in the medians, okay? Going through certain parts of Virginia, them motherfuckers be on the hill. Let me tell you something. If there's one place, one state that I am very wary about traveling through by car is Virginia. And I mean all of Virginia. They, they got nothing better to do than catch your ass going 15 over. They got nothing bad to do. They gonna do the paperwork, okay? Might have a story time or two about that. Gonna get into all that. Pay the swords. Knight of swords, six of swords, two of pentacles. Page of swords with the knight of You need to be careful about entertaining things that you're supposed to be moving on from. Whether it be personal behaviors, personal habits, people, situations, and or environments. Okay, you need to be careful about that. It's like you've been shown that you need to outgrow this. You've been shown that you need to move on to the next cycle or level in life. But you are still entertaining. I'm hearing the BS. You are still entertaining situations that are not worth your time. You are still acting in a manner or making decisions that are reckless, you know, and or unnecessary. Be careful about this. Pisces, either you doing the looking or you being looked at. Period, point blank. The page of swords is the first card. All right? It's giving recent searches. Are you in someone's or someone's in yours? Let's talk about it. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? Strength with the nine of cups. Oh, Pisces, that's you now. That's you. Some of you guys are going to notice changes going on in your life whenever you start to really show up for yourself, whenever you start to exude confidence, whenever you start to be um, 
passionate about the things that you want out of life. Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is about your independence. Some of you guys, this is about your stability. Some of you guys, is just about standing on your own two feet, being in a self-reliant energy. You're going to see the, I'm hearing, impact and or changes going on around you. Whenever with the Strength card, this is the only energy that you are operating in. You'll start to notice it, okay? Versus you, um, you know, staying, standing still, going back to certain situations and or behaviors that no longer serve you and or people, okay? Some of y'all have already been in this energy and it's, and it's very apparent, okay? That's why you got niggas looking at you. That's why you got people looking at you because with the page of swords and the strength card, it's just... We're about to drive through Corn City real fast, right? It's like... Oh, that's a different one right there. You ever had that said to you the way it's like, oh no, you you just different. Explain. I need details. It might be the Leo in me, whatever. Um, some of you guys, I feel like a lot of people uh see you as a very confident individual. You know, girl, like you the first one on the front line. I feel like people see you as someone that is very capable, very sure of themselves. I gotta keep moving, girl, because I'm over here just beep, 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 beep. I'm tuning your head up, baby. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? But it's good. It, girl, take the compliments, okay? The world. Well, that makes sense. Because you're going through a leveling up in life. You know, this is my uh, leveling up symptoms. symptoms. 11, 11, when I said that. Confirmations. Spiritual ascension card. All right. A lot of you guys have been going through hard situations and or hard circumstances or experience that has kind of led you to this space. Pages. That's that's a strong first row. Pages or strength card and the world card. You know, this for me is like, girl, if you look at my track record, if I was to bring out the resume, the novel that is my life, you'd understand why I'm at where I'm at. OK, you understand why the trials and tribulations brought me to where I am now and why I deserve the provisions that are being bestowed upon me. It's a sermon going on right now, babes. Okay, some of you guys could have Saturn in Pisces. I think I brought that up at the beginning of the reading. I think I brought up that planet at the beginning of the reading. I did. <sighs> so I see a lot of you. Hey, girl. <laughs> Divine Feminine. Okay, Empress, Ten of Swords, Temperance, Hermit, Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. A lot of you guys have been practicing um, resistance, discernment, against certain things that you decide to go after pursue and they're entertain a lot of y'all have gone through this in regards to romantic connections let me tell you girl there's specific signs showing up there's people out here all right some of y'all could have decided to amicably <laughs> amicably okay uh split uh go your separate ways with a, uh, I was about to say fellow air sign. There's some air signs in here lurking. With an air sign, uh, Libra is out here. We have Gemini. Yeah, Gemini and Libra is very strong here. Um, we have Leo and Sagittarius showing up. And we got some Earth. Okay, we got Capricorn and Taurus. It's like, now nah, I'm good, you know. Um... <laughs> This is what I'm hearing, girl, and I really resonate with this, okay? Whenever you realize you truly carry the power of how someone is going to deal with you, people having the access to you, it's like, girl, you know, I, I'm in control of that, okay? Not saying that you're in control of a people, but you just realize, you know, how powerful that is, right? Spirit, guys, uh, what's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? And this is why you look like this to other, uh, watch the words, other people. Eight of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. If somebody watching you or Pisces, you watching somebody and it's like, I can't figure out how to, they do it. How do they do it? How are you jet, what's the word, editing, look it up please. How are you jet trotting, globe trotting, I think that's what it is. How are you seeing the world? How are you still standing? How are you able to um, still be here? It's like there's someone watching you, if not specific people, okay, more than one, multiple. 
right? There's someone here watching you that can't figure out how you were getting it done. It's literally with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, you live in someone's head rent free. You got property, all right? Or this is you to someone, okay? Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, ladies. Girls, is your reading? Wait a minute. It's okay, girl. I'm okay with talking to the girls. Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Chariot, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, well, congratulations. I see some of you guys could be... And then I don't know what's going on with this reading. I have no idea. I know you're going to have a time. Okay. Thank you. Um, I see some of you guys receiving some sort of offer in the month of uh, October, whether it be financial, whether it be some sort of opportunity, some sort of venture. Girl, you taking it. You taking it. Okay. You could be a little bit. Oh, should I? Should I not? Okay. But the eight of swords like, girl, I don't know. I don't, girl, just take it. Just take it. What? You naughty girl, you. <laughs> um. This is the individual that's watching you, okay? I hate, I hate this, I hate this dynamic that's between you and somebody because it's like it's like, girl, we just not busting balls just for fun, okay? It's just you know accidental, really. I do see there's someone here that you have moved on from. You decide to stop dealing with it. I feel like it was the best, you know, for you and them. Sixteen, sixteen confirmations. This individual still watches you man or one man because i've seen the king of pentacles and now i'm seeing the queen of pentacles it could be a couple <laughs> could be your ex with a new bitch and or nigga could be right or it could just be you know definitely our sign man or one man right if not both them right they might not know each other facts um i just see there's someone here who is this person to you who who are they um but yeah they're watching you um what's the interest you know what i'm saying what's the interest that they have with you hold up spirit guys what's going on with the pisces over there for the month of october in the year 2023 pisces are you gonna make me go over because we got a full schedule tonight i gotta go to gym the hired fan Ooh, all right powerful we got a powerful spread right here pisces got the higher fan strength card in the world card yeah i feel as though this for me is you know definitely given walking by faith not by sight eight of swords and a higher fan i don't be knowing what's going on in life okay but with the page of swords <laughs> And the higher man out here, something has to be watching over me to still have me standing after um, Ten of Swords, all the endings, closures, uh, all the painful things I've had to go through, right? I'm still here and I'm, you know, better than where I was left, what, uh, how I was, right? Um, ladies... Who is this man, girl? Not not too far away. This is that Taurus that's probably in your fucking bushes. The King of Pentacles. Whatever. And the Hierophant. Come on, work with me. All right? Keep up. 1818 confirmations. Some of y'all, there's some man, Divine Pino, I'm talking to you because the Empress is out here. There's some guy, okay? Heavy on the air. Heavy on the air. <laughs> Fire and fellow water is out here. Um... The water sign, probably you. But if it is a fellow water sign, it might be a Scorpio. But I have Gemini, very strong, very strong Gemini. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius, Taurus, okay, or Capricorn. Um, you know, this man won't you. But I don't like how he want to have you. Ten of cups with the seven of cups. Either girl, he's husband and father by day. And ain't trying to be your boyfriend at night. Okay. Got a whole, got a whole wife now. Or this for me is, you know, somebody here want to casually deal with you. Right. But don't want a 1919 confirmation. It's not really make anything official. It's just. 
this person isn't clear about what how they want to deal with you. You know, I don't want to get too much into my private life. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Beyond these cards, beyond this camera, bitch, life be going for me. Life, life be going on, bitch. And I just, oh girl, I could, I could have one of them T channels, one of them stories on channels, and I just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not built for it. I'm not built for it, girl, because I just, I'm, I don't want to dig up old wounds. <laughs> Let's just say that. I don't want to do it, okay? But this is a situation of someone here, you know, wanting to talk to you, wanting to text you, wanting to call you, wanting to see you, da 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 da. da. But there's no real consistency. You know, it's it's like basically a when they feel like it type of team. You like, girl, what is this? Girl, like I'm prime time. I'm prime real estate right now. And you just want to put me on layaway? Layaway, girl. I ain't heard about that since Kmart. Like, not over here. Spirit, guys. Mm -mm. What's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? That's who you decide to stop dealing with. And they still be watching you like a nut in the bushes. How about them bushes? Like, fuck is you doing? That's what it's giving, okay? We got the tower. Mars and Pisces. You're going through a lot. Magician. Mercury in Pisces. So this ain't just sun and Pisces reading, girl. It's every Piscean placement on the planet, okay? Yes, girl, you've been going through shit. World card and tile card. I done lost it all, gained it back, lost again, and gained it back again, girl. I'm on, I'm in that transition phase right now. I have been through a lot, bro. <laughs> a lot of y'all can definitely say that, okay? But even when you've been in this energy of not knowing how things are going to work out, not knowing how things are going to transpire for you, with the Hierophant and the Magician, a way was always made for you, all right? This is the story, girl. Of being, you know, in the storm. They go wake my mans up, girl. What we supposed to do? And he like, bro, calm the waves. Everybody like, oh, okay. He like, girl, let me go back to sleep. It's like, girl, don't worry about a team. Finish it for me. Everything is going to be all right. It's hard to be like that, though. 24-7. Like, nah, girl. Shit is on fire. <laughs> so, y'all, it's hard for you to be like that. For you to just be nonchalant whenever you're unsure or unclear about what's going on in your life, girl. There's a lot. There's a lot of different changes and shifts that I'm having to go through that's involuntarily happening to me. Spirit, guys. What's going on with the Pisces Zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? You made me go over. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. Hey, babes. I knew this was your reading. Empress, Divine Feminine. And there's so many different placements of Pisces out here. We have Sun. We have Mars. We have Venus. We just saw Mercury a little bit, a little while ago. Yes, Divine Feminine. One of your exes misses you. Girl, one of your exes misses you. Uh, somebody that you used to be friends with misses you. Okay. Um, I think you probably know who this individual is because I'm hearing either you've been in contact with this person recently. Cast out the bad bitch, crystal ball, breaking news, my niggas. This person is going to contact you sometime soon. It's almost like this person doesn't know what to say to you. They don't know how to initiate a conversation with you. So they just kind of watch you. It's like being in class and that motherfucker that want to talk to you in the corner. They just looking at you from their desk. Not saying a word to you. But sometimes when they pass your desk, they might, you know, knock over your book bag or, you know, run into your desk. High school, college days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, immature. It's what it's giving. Uh, some of y'all, this is the case with an air fire or an earth sign individual leo aries gemini taurus libra capricorn spirit guys what's going on with the pisces zodiac for the month of october in the year 2023 ten of pentacles with the nine of cups <sighs> so um a lot of you guys are have been in this cloudy energy about your long-term stability your career path your business um you know girl long money right um maybe you've had a lot of different changes about that your living situation your job situation what you want to do long term um building of uh, your foundation you've been going through a lot in regards to that all right but i tell you what 
Nine of Cups, Two of Wands, Ace of Swords. You're going to be happy that a certain shift either is now taking place or is you're being forced to let take place. Okay, either you are letting this happen gradually, you're letting this happen uh, naturally, right? Um, you're going at the new opportunities for yourself. You're putting yourself in new places, new environments for those opportunities to come towards you. Or girl, you know, push off the cliff. How else are we going to make it happen for you? You're going to be forced to jump, basically, all right? But you'll be happy. Last card, spirit guys. What's going on with the Pisces zodiac for the month of October in the year 2023? Eight of Wands with the Magician. Let me tell you something. I don't like a ear sign around you. Aquarius, Libra, and a Gemini. I don't like this individual. Um, because this is someone here that... If I can't be around for your come up or enjoy your provisions and your benefits, then I'm gonna make then I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk shit about you basically. Moon card and the five of swords, I'm going to sabotage you. I'm going to talk down on you. I'm going to try to make you feel as though you ain't shit. Some of y'all, there is someone like that around you. This is someone here that can't figure out how you are someone that can lose it all and gain it all back. They can't figure out how this type of thing happens for you. And I feel like they could be. Maybe not jelly, but with the King of Swords, Moon Card, Five of Swords, and the Magician. Um, it's like a, it's like the strongest of side eyes that this person gives you because it's 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 like a how you get it, but not me. Maybe because it wasn't given to you. The fuck, okay. And I can't think of the word for an individual like that because I wouldn't say jealousy. It's just more like. Why do you think you deserve everything? You know? Um, but yeah, this is definitely this energy is definitely coming from an air sign individual. Um, uh, Libra, Gemini, and or Aquarius. Um And this is, you know, also this could be a fan of yours, okay? Someone, but it look it looks like it's a man. Ladies, this looks like it's applying to a man. Men, like it could be applying to a woman. It's just someone outside of you that I feel like can't figure out how you're, excuse me, making the changes in life, experiencing the changes in life that you are. 27, 27 confirmations. So they might talk down to you or talk down about you to others to kind of like, defame you slander you you know i'm here to bring you back down to earth girl that's where they live girl you you out here in the galaxies and shit okay but they're a fan like girl, you like what i'm out here doing heavy on the air heavy on the fire heavy on the earth gemini libra aquarius leo aries sagittarius Tau taurus virgo capricorn i mean it, basically everybody i got out of here y'all really made me go over like this shit is almost 30 minutes Pisces, this was your October monthly reading. Any placement of Pisces, Saturn, Mars, and Venus in Pisces is out here. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe to the channel. Pricing and content information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment and comment section. Toodles. <laughs> Bye.